How would you feel about a ban of how would you feel questions on the sub? Remember these obnoxious questions that were really just veiled attempts to tell stories for karma. Reddit Did you ever have a time when X, Y, Z happened? I'll go first. It was a breath of fresh air when those got banned. Or it would be a question aimed at like special ops of the US Army and it would have 10k people. Answer. Not special ops, but know the guy who killed Bin Laden, S. Right now. I'd support the ban. There's too many questions that have an obvious answer like, how would you feel if we could treat all diseases and everyone gets a million dollars in their local currency? Quote, it's always something super agreeable. Perhaps all the controversial questions like, how would you feel if cancer patients battled it out? As gladiators and the losers' bodies get used for scientific research. And you have to pay like way more in taxes to make it happen? Get downvoted into oblivion. Along with all the stupid people of Reddit. Would you suffer less than insert mild inconvenience greater than for one week in return for 200 gazillion dollars? Quote dot. Utterly pointless questions tilde tilde obviously intended to farm karma tilde tilde apparently I am wrong about this aspect and ironically this post unintentionally gain a load of karma. Reddit. Would you suffer not talking to anyone for one week, but in return get one trillion dollars in cash without question? Stock in Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Disney with a seat in the writer's table for the next Star Wars movie. And a trip to the moon and back through SpaceX along with Elon Musk. Quote, you guys are getting paid. Herder, does talking mean speaking or texting? How about sign language? Quote, sign me up. I'll just lay in bed all week. Here's a list of reasons why this would go south. Quote, can I talk to my cat? Quote, a very long and thought out plan of how someone would do this in an attempt to get gold in second. Highest comment, greater than, you guys are getting paid, heard her puked a little. I'll do it for 5 million. Quote, I'll do it for 5,000. Quote, you guys are getting paid. Quote, every single time. Sometimes Reddit feels like it's run by bots. Real reason? Most people don't have enough wit to be uniquely funny. So they fall back onto memes. Those same people then follow suit and just upvote any and every meme they see. No matter how stale. Only because they recognize it. Real, real, reason? Reddit is getting run over by bots. This place is an astroturfer's paradise. Getting products like headsets and toasters to the top of hobbyist subreddits are pushing agendas. In world news, politics is just too easy with too big a payoff. High karma accounts are sold for legitimacy to use with that purpose. The easiest way to get high karma is just to build a bot that speed copies common responses to ask Reddit threads and other high volume subreddits. So yes. If it feels like you're surrounded by bots, you very well may be looking good, slow down, dot dot dot, my man, I would feel pretty good, yay. I'd feel great about it. If we also banned all the variants of girls, guys of Reddit, what can I do, say, act, change, think to increase, decrease my odds of having sex with you, masquerading under 40 different permutations. I feel like most of the sexual ones are getting more frequent and worse. Like at least half of them are probably just horny teens trying to get their fix from hearing other people's stories which are probably fake stories of fellow teens who are getting off by writing a fake story. I'm hoping after the holiday break it gets better or I am going to leave this subreddit. I don't know, how would you feel about it? Is this a therapy session? I don't know, how would you feel about it if it was a therapy session? I am nervous around doctors. So, I hope you don't have a diploma. Other ways, it probably wouldn't hurt. I would feel the irony. How would you feel if Danny DeVito and Keanu Reeves gave you 100 million dollars but you had to be their best friend for life x d d d d d d Edit. Thanks for the gold. Wow my biggest reddit post ever. This reminds me of that Gordon Ramsay and Bob Ross post I saw earlier today. 
Like damn, can you at least put some fucking effort into karma whoring? I usually just downvote questions I don't like. People really beat the dead horse with this one. But a good question starts with, how would you feel, every so often? Greater than every so often. That's the real problem us here it's not the, how would you feel, questions that piss people off. It's the same questions being reposted every 6 to 10 weeks. If the sub-moderators added a common repost option to the list of report reasons, and actually acted on legit reports, this problem would solve itself. I might be down votes to oblivion, but it would be nice if they did get reposted every year or two or five. I like seeing ideas change and pop culture change. I would feel very good. There's a big difference between a year or two versus a week. I think that's the problem the commenter has. Or we could make our, how would you feel about and send all those questions over there. Our, how would you feel? I'd sooner embrace a ban on, your username is blank, questions. God, what do we get? 20 of them a day. The worst. The top comment is always anal underscore goat underscore puncher going, um lol idk and everyone jerking off about their name. Rim job Steve am I right? Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark question mark question mark exclamation mark question mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Lol says Badger too. But seriously, the rules for that sub at least specify that the discussion has to be unrelated to the username. When you make a thread for usernames, it just encourages people to make shocking names to grab attention. It feels like those users have the kinda lowest common denominator type humor which instantly turns those threads into shit. Apathetic. These questions don't bother me nearly as much as the annoying as fuck hypothetical scenario, writing prompts that are flooding the sub. Would you be mildly inconvenienced for 10 billion dollars? Worst one is the Reddit circle jerkaga is social media, would you give up on social media for a month for 10 billion dollars? And it's just people acting like they're above all others because they couldn't care less. Would you go back 10 years with all your current knowledge? This is a unique question that has never been asked or thought of ever. And I'll bet not a single respondent thought about Bitcoin or Apple stock. So I'll surely be hailed as a prophet, comedic genius for pointing out that knowing the future of speculative assets could be used for financial gain. On the other hand I'll also need to publicly signal devotion to my spouse and or child. Ren. By refusing to contemplate any hypothetical that might change the trajectory of my life that led to the monsieur. Can we please ban that your username is how you die, or, your username is now your superpower? All of the, your username, mess. Yes, my username is boring for all of these. I hate how so many questions here are just setups for the same shitty punch line told a million different ways. I think the last one I saw was asking if you'd go without sex for six years for a million dollars or something. You could guess the top replies without opening the thread. You guys are getting paid. Almost downvoted this out of habit. Even worse are the stupid answers from people who think they're being clever. Can I masturbate still? What about using things to masturbate? Do oral and hand jobs count? Does anyone actually care? If you had to choose between not seeing color or not smelling what would you pick? Quote. 200 IQ neck beard. Oh well black gray and white are colors so I'd rather not smell than be blind. Yeah nice one idiot. And they would all get screenshotted and posted to either r suicide by words or r I have sex. You've become the very thing you've sworn to destroy. This is true but they also framed the question in a good way as to make the term fit appropriately. In a question I would feel as good. Except I'm pretty sure this is the 563,237th time this question has been asked. With this exact phrasing, deleted, permaban everyone who asks, how would you feel if, quote, would you take a large sum of money for doing a trivial task like living with O internet for a month? 
quote. What are the most legendary Reddit posts? Quote. Girls. Dudes of Reddit. What does the opposite sex do that they don't know is creepy, hot? Quote. What if? Popular Reddit pandering opinion on politics here. Was made mandatory? Quote. And every other question like that. It'd legitimately make ask Reddit a decent sub again that doesn't get bogged down by awful karma. Whores and bots. You forgot if you can go X years back in time with all the knowledge you currently have. So, tired of seeing some version of this every one to three weeks with everyone in the comments section saying yes. Like no shit who wouldn't. Oh there should be WAAAY more banned questions, of all sorts. Sexual sexers of Reddit. What's the sexiest sex you ever sexed? Women of Reddit. What can I do to be a hit with each and every woman that requires no effort or willpower from me? Women of Reddit. I'm too much of a coward to ask a girl out. Reassure me that my crush will eventually ask me out and that women do make the first move. What a common son. R. How would you feel feels abandoned if all those posts moved there I'd be a happy man. Asking, how would you feel, to a bunch of strangers who tend to be more socially awkward. I'm with ya guys too, DW. Usually doesn't result in many interesting answers. So agree. Also the premises are usually so dumb. Great. All of the hypothetical questions are useless and no one is interested in what people answer. They try to think of the most impressive thing to say. Who knows how we would react or feel. Or what we would do or say if it were actually happening in the moment. I'd like the option to block, ask Reddit, and any other subs. Not even see them unless we chose to. I thought, you could just unjoin the sub. That's what I did with a few subs I apparently had joined to get them off my feed. Can we ban the you are offered X number of dollars to accomplish X, Y, or Z, questions? The most interesting ones of this nature never make it to the top. The ones with tiny rewards and large consequences. It's fine if they're very open-ended. The one I saw earlier about Bob Ross making a TV show with Gordon Ramsay was absolutely stupid. Thank you for watching.